Now I'm going to show you how, how you can manually test your web services using Swagger. Swagger is a very nice tool that from a software engineering point of view, it uh, goes in, uh, in the direction of uh, uh, executable do documentation. So Swagger actually is a way to document web services, but more, usually there's a problem with documentation that documentation, documentation easily becomes outdated, but Swagger being generated from the code, is documentation generated from the code, is never uh, outdated and uh, you can execute it. Okay, and that's what I'm going to show you. So basically, to do it, so we are so instead of doing these automatic tests with uh, Spock, we have seen we're going to do it with uh, with Swagger. So uh, basically, I need to run the system. So I need to. Uh, it's not this one. Sorry, I need to. I run the system so I, I need to launch the server and then I'm gonna open so this is gonna be up in uh, port 8080 okay 8081 is, is gonna be for the front end this is 8080 so how, do, how can I see what is the port basically if I look there at the end we'll see that it's up and available in 8080 it says there. Look, Tomcat started on port 88. So basically, what I need to do is to go to my browser, open something here, and say localhost 80, 80, and then I need to put Swagger there. Okay. How do I remember this? Sometimes I don't remember, so I can check where it is. So I, if I come here in resources and I go to application properties, we'll see that this is Spring Dog Swagger UI. So this is the, the one I need to append there. So I just do this and it goes to Swagger. But actually, it doesn't go to my application. It goes to the pet store example. So I need to go to my application. And again, how do I know? It's here. The path is API docs. So I go there and I put API docs. And now what you see here is all the web services that are uh, provided by my running server uh, and of course we have been looking at activity controller and particular to this post okay so i can open it the post and i can try to exercise it so i can basically come here and do a uh, try it out by trying it out i can just say execute and I got an error. So I get, uh, when I executed a 400 response status. So the first thing I may say, well, the reason what it fails is that I need authentication. I'm not authenticated, so I don't have a token. So to authenticate, I can authenticate because as you remember, as I've shown you before in the tests for uh, the register, so in the tests, I've shown you that, for instance, to do this, I can authenticate as a demo login. And actually, I'm doing this alt demo member invocation to get the token, as you, you remember in these tests. So I can do the same here, basically. So what I can do is I come here and I find for, let's close this because it's too big and I try to find alt controller and there it's, it is there, look, alt demo member, which is the same that we have here, alt demo member. So I can go to alt demo member and I just do try it out, try it out, execute and everything goes okay. I get a 200 code and look, look, 
I get this nice token and I'm gonna copy the token and now I'm gonna say to Swagger in the next calls I'm gonna do I'm gonna please send this token in the other which actually was what we said when we put the token there okay so how can I do it in, in Swagger I go to authorize put the token there and say authorize and now I'm logged in so now I can come back here and I can try to do it so but look if you remember my controller has a load a payload so it's this activity DTO so I need to send this activity DTO information that actually I created there so in this case I send it with JSON so actually I prepared here with the correct data so this is the my JSON so you can see so you have the name the region the participants no teams and then you have the the date so I can copy this and put it in here it's there so I'm gonna send in in the request body what is the request body it is if you go to the source code and if you go to activity controller is what is received there right this activity this activity dto right so what i'm gonna do is basically i'm gonna execute and when i execute i get a 200 so everything is okay and in my response i get the information so everything is okay so my web server web service is working okay and for instance i can for instance now execute another one look at this get this get is one a service that basically get the activities so i can just come here and say try it out and execute and now it's a 200 and look that was the activity I created in the other one so this is the returns a, a list of activities okay so that way you can basically when you are doing development to be sure that your web service you can write these tests with Spock but you can also play with this of course you need to to to, to define the, the the JSON you need but uh, you will, uh, we will learn some uh, strategies to get this uh, JSON easily as well.